My hair is done. Yeah. 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 Hey guys, welcome. Hey guys, welcome to my. Hey guys, welcome. Hey guys, welcome back to my. Welcome back to my. Welcome back to my channel. welcome back to my channel so i haven't done a sit down video in so long and it feels so weird me even recording a video like i feel like i don't even want to keep this i i really feel like starting over like me talking right now i really feel like starting over the video but i know me i'm the type like i'm gonna be like okay i'm gonna start over the video and then i'm gonna keep doing it over and over and over again so boom Today I'm here, you know, I haven't did, like I said, I haven't did a video like this in a minute where I'm basically sitting down and like, you know, talking and really like, you know, getting into my routines and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, I'm a little nervous, but we here. So today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. I'm actually supposed to be leaving the house. I want to leave the house like around... I want to leave the house in like 30 minutes, but I don't know if I'm going to be done in 30 minutes, but we're going to see. We're going to set the timer for 30 minutes, actually. Set timer for 30 minutes. I'm going to be showing you guys what I do to get ready in the mornings. Uh, I'm going to be brushing my teeth, washing my face. Um, I have a wig right here that I'm going to be trying. Well, I'm not going to be trying on. I'm going to be putting the wig on. I'm going to be putting the wig on and stuff like that. So, yeah. Make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media platforms. Comment down below. Any other videos you guys want from me. And let's get into it. So, I'm going to brush my teeth first. And, y'all, a lot been going. A lot, I'm sitting down. So, excuse me. I'm going to have to get up in a minute. But, I'm going to put my camera back. Y'all, a whole lot has been going on recently. Like, lately. Like, so much has been going on. And, like, so much stuff has happened, like, within a couple, like, the past couple of weeks. And I've been, I've been still posting on YouTube, but I haven't been posting a lot. But anyway, um, my sister's graduation. Hold on. Brush my teeth, and then I'll be right back. Woo! All right, y'all. So, I just brushed my teeth. Y'all don't need to see me brush my teeth because it's teeth. But anyway, um, speaking of teeth... Yeah, I can't wait to get some veneers. Like that's one thing that I know I am getting. Either veneers or I'm getting my teeth like white and in shape. But either way, a bitch getting her teeth done. Cause like you can't never go wrong with like a perfect smile. Like with the teeth to match, like the fuck, bitch. I'm gonna get into my face, my skincare routine. This is what I do every day. I like when y'all see my skincare routine. I actually did a video on it. I don't even know if it's still up, but when y'all see my skincare routine, y'all are really gonna be like, because it's kind of like simple things and it works perfectly fine for me like i don't have acne i'm kind of on my cycle right now not kind of i am on my cycle right now so you know i got like little problems going on right now y'all know how it be when you're on your cycle but other than that like the skincare routine is just the simplest things ever y'all be trying to go go to try hard some people you need extra products because you probably have like bad skin but um Y'all be putting so much stuff on y'all skin. Y'all just be making the shit worse. Like, it don't even need to be that deep. But, anyway, it's kind of hard for me to, like, do two things at once. You know, sometimes, like, as far as, like, talking and then showing y'all what the fuck I'm, I'm doing. But, um, I'm gonna try. Another thing, I don't use, like, a rag to wash my face. I just wash my face like i feel like using a rag to like wash my face i don't be feeling like my face is clean like i need the water to be like on my face so when y'all see me go over and wet my face that's what i'm doing like i'm just washing off my face so the past couple of weeks um a lot has been going on first um my sister's graduation came up um y'all know my sister um y'all want to see her in a couple videos i'm gonna try to get her in as much videos as possible because she's trying to go to new york um for culinary for culinary school culinary culinary whatever school so uh i'm gonna try to get her in as much videos as possible before she goes off and does that but yeah this is the soap that i use for my face yeah i use this for my face for my body from everything my hair I use this soap for everything. It's really a multi-purpose soap. Like, it has everything that you can use it for somewhere on the box right here. It has everything that you can use it for, but I use it for my face also. You can use it for your laundry. You can use it for your dishes. Like, this is the soap, okay? Period. Um, You don't need a lot. I just literally put, like, you know, a little set in. And you're supposed to dilute it with water. So then I just take, like, a, you know, a few drops of water on my hands like this. Nothing special, y'all. And then I just go ahead and... Go like this. Ooh, it's getting a little messy. I go like this. And then I just put it on my face. 
but anyway um yeah so my sister's graduation whatever my dad came down i was supposed to vlog her graduation for y'all like i was i had the whole thing set up but i was supposed to do her hair i did a video where i did her hair for graduation i'm not sure if that dropped yet it probably did it it didn't actually so you guys make sure and go tune what like it didn't drop yet but i went ahead and i did a video when i did her hair for graduation and then i was supposed to do a video get ready with me for her graduation that morning and then i was supposed to record the graduation but like it was a lot like it was a lot um we ended up doing her hair really late we finished like at two in the morning i believe like one two o'clock in the morning then i didn't go to sleep until four in the morning but then i had to wake up at six in the morning um by the time i got up i had to i was so tired but then i had to you know hurry up and rush for her graduation so um i, I couldn't even get to record the get ready with me so i was like forget it i'm gonna do it another time then i didn't even get to grab the camera to even film the graduation because i was late like i was the graduation started at nine i got there at 8 50 something like my parents had already left and went ahead of me but i barely made it feel me so that was the first thing i was supposed to film like that was supposed to be three videos right there that i didn't even get to film so i was very much irritated because it was going to get posted this week now i have to film new content and figure out what else to record but i have videos to record but that's those were three things that i wanted to do i really only did one of them my sister's hair but i didn't get to do the get ready with me and i didn't get to do the fucking other shit but whatever y'all i just be putting this on my face and then it's gonna turn clear um i actually have a um i have a new face brush that i'm gonna be using today and this is my first time using this um i got this from duvali um i worked with this company before they sent me a few different things and today we're gonna be trying out their sonic um their sonic facial brush um i never seen it before um this is how the box came we're gonna open it and we're gonna see what's tea Ooh. so this is how it looks um it has a usb cord probably to charge it so i'm not gonna touch that because my hands are wet so i'm just gonna take out the facial brush now off rip was giving me sex toy vibes let me see yeah hella vibrator vibes Ooh. feels good on my skin though <laughs> but i kind of like Mmm, that's what I like. Oh, I was rubbing it too hard, maybe. So it comes with four different vibration speeds. So this is the first one, then it's two, three, and then four. And that's the highest one, okay? So yeah, I'm it's giving me like when you hold down on it too much, like it um too hard, it cuts off. I don't know what that's about. Low speeds massage the skin and like, you know, make sure, you know, smooth out the wrinkles and all that other stuff. But then the higher speeds kind of like purifies the skin. So I kind of like mine's high. Like I like stuff rough, y'all. Rough for pause. Like, I don't know. But yeah. So we're going to see if this even makes a difference in my skincare routine because I really don't know. This is my first time trying it, so we're going to see what this brush is all about. But anyway, I also have a friend who's kind of like a family friend because her and my mom's mom are like really, co really close. And she had a graduation party. And I went to the graduation party. I spent like maybe 10 minutes there. And then my little brother called me to come get him from Six Flags. Y'all, I went all the way to Six Flags. Came back. And as soon as I came back, my tire went flat. So my tire went flat at her house and I wasn't tripping because I was like, I have a spare and my dad was telling me that I needed new tires anyway. So I was like, cool, like I was going to get some new tires anyway. But the fact that it even went flat, I was like, it's kind of nothing I can do about it at this point. So I just went ahead and just, um, her, uh, my, um, my mom's friend's son, that might sound confusing, he went ahead and like changed it for me. It kind of took a long time because he told me he would change it for me at 6.30. And he told me that at like 5 something, like 4, about to be 5 o'clock. So I told him whatever, he came out there. At first I kind of thought that he didn't know what he was doing, but turns out he did know what he was doing. And then I kind of like took this thing that they needed from my car, out my car when I first got the car. Like it was just a whole lot going on, y'all. I was very much stressed. But then I found the piece that they needed to take the tire off and then they did it. I went and got my tires like two days later um, because it happened on a Saturday. Sunday, the tire places were closed, including the dealership. 
and monday i went and got a fix y'all i was very much stressed because i had stuff to fucking do but i couldn't do it because tires weren't fixed so yeah y'all um your girl kind of been going through it i'm gonna wash this off my face but before i wash my face off i do want to um show you guys the hair because i'm going to be doing my hair next after i finish my skincare routine and i just want to just show y'all what's going on so this hair is actually from wavy my hair i believe that's how you say it i'm not 100 sure but it will be on the screen and in the description box down below so make sure you guys go check it out but this is the wig they sent me they sent me a 10 inch bob and i turned it into like i crimped it um to kind of give it some type of volume and something because the straight 10 inch bob was not giving and plus it's a closure too so it definitely wasn't giving because i couldn't even do like you know the cute edges and stuff like that so i kind of just did it like this it's really cute i can't wait to put it on and i did do like a little asmr to show you guys how i prepped the wig and whatever so while i wash my face off you guys go check that out Zoom. so you guys seen the asmr i know this video is kind of all over because i just went from skin to hair to back to skin but you guys y'all please i'm trying to do this under 30 minutes and i still didn't reset my timer so i have 14 minutes left we just gonna keep it pushing but anyway the next thing on my skincare routine that i do that i really want to show you guys because i feel like it's really smart and i've done it for the past couple of months and i have seen a difference in my skin so i'm gonna show you guys i use aloe vera gel on my face after i um you know soap you know cleanse my skin whatever um i use aloe vera gel now if you guys could get like the actual fruit like the aloe vera plant and like you know actually put it on your face that's better but if you guys don't have access to the plant or you guys just have aloe vera gel that you guys can use on your face that's safe um pure aloe vera gel make sure it says pure and it doesn't have no other different shit in it um you just want to take it and you just want to put enough enough to cover your skin y'all need to stop asking people how much you use unless it's like something with food like a recipe bitch when it comes to like makeup and like skincare and stuff stop asking people how much they use bitch you use how much you feel like you need to use like my skin is different from yours and your skin is different from mine's like so i might only use a little bit you might need to use a lot you might not need to use any at all like you never know so just do what you feel like is necessary you guys can always try stuff but stop thinking that what what works for everybody's skin works for yours like we all have different skin as you can see so yeah I know this light right here is probably throwing y'all off a little bit, but it's throwing me off, so now I have to fix it. Sorry. So I rub this all over my face. I try to not to, I try not to get it too close to my eyes, y'all, because it really be burning the shit out of my eyes. But I rub that all over my skin. And then here's the secret ingredient. Ice. Okay, I don't know if you guys can even see that. Oh shit, it's drying out. Ice. So you wanna take ice, like any piece of ice, and you wanna rub this on your skin it's at first when you first start doing it it's gonna feel weird because it's gonna be super cold on your skin but when i tell you guys just mm, just in circular motions and you don't want to keep it on one spot for too long because like it's ice like you don't want to like burn your skin with the ice like freeze your skin you know what i mean like ice burn y'all know so you just want to put that all over your skin until your skin feel kind of like well you it's not even no specific amount of time you're supposed to keep it on there for but like if your skin feels like frozen like don't keep that shit on there like take it off but like you know just keep 
doing it and i um it's i also put it on my lips because it makes my lips feel really good and i feel like it makes my lips a little brighter i'm tripping <laughs> also another thing if you guys want to um do this because i found this um even better um if you guys don't want to just put the aloe vera gel on your skin and then put the ice on you guys can make aloe vera ice cubes and then just take the ice cubes and put it on your skin therefore you're going to be getting the aloe vera and the um, coldness from the ice cubes all at once so yeah i'm going to start doing that whenever that may be but this is just what's been working for me so this is just what i've been doing um i like to put the ice underneath my eyes you know and you guys can look up <laughs> and you guys can look up the benefits and like what certain things does like just don't take people's word for it like don't just start putting aloe vera gel and rubbing ice on your skin because i told you to bitch go look up what it like what's the benefits of ice on your skin and like aloe vera and stuff like that to see if to see if like that's something you're even interested in or it like what it would do for your skin because like if this don't work for your skin or something happened to your skin because of whatever I told you, bitch. It's not my fault because I just told you what I do. Oh, <laughs> I'm dropping shit. I just told you what I did. You just went ahead and ran with it. So, after this, you feel me? Like, it's already on my skin. I don't have to do too much. Um, I might just take this and put it on my skin just because. Um, And then all I'm going to do is just wash it off, y'all. So, I'm actually just about to wash it off because I feel like this serves no purpose right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and just um, wash it off. Then you just wanna take a towel, pad dry your face. Um, also another thing, um, in the mornings I use like super cold water. Like the water is extremely cold. Like no hot water, just cold. So that's what I just washed my face with cold water. And you just wanna pad dry your face. Don't go crazy on your face, just pat dry. Dry, dry, dry. Pat, pat, pat. That at. now the only thing that i don't do in my routine that i would like to start doing that i probably should do is like use some type of toner like witch hazel or whatever the case may be um other than that i feel like my routine is perfectly fine but like as far as what i feel like i could add or what i would suggest adding is probably like you know a little toner but since i don't i just go in with my vaseline now this vaseline is some different type of vaseline but it's just regular vaseline it's just a different brand i ran out of the other vaseline like the brand that everybody knows what's it johnson and johnson i don't even know if that's the brand for real but um that's the vaseline i use a lot of people say vaseline clogs your pores but if you read on the vaseline bottle is non whatever the word is so it doesn't clog your pores like reading is fundamental so um yeah i use vaseline vaseline is a great skin protectant like if you even look on the vaseline bottle it literally tells you like anyway and then you want to just put some vaseline on the lips because it's good for that too cool and i'm gonna call it a day so skin 110 the light is really fucking brown let me take this light off but you guys see the skin very much giving period i have uh, six minutes on my clock so hopefully we can get it started but i'm not gonna be done my hair in six minutes i'm gonna tell y'all this quick little story time while i do my hair because like why not i was going to tell y'all this story time like a separate video but then it's not even long enough to be a whole video so i'm just gonna tell y'all it right now but um i told you guys in a in a past video i can't remember what video it was that me and my boyfriend used to do instacart a lot um when the pandemic first started because like you know nobody was going out and grocery shopping and stuff and even being outside for real so my friend put us on and i felt like that was a great way to earn some extra money so we started doing it yeah so we used to do instacart and stuff like that it was a cool little easy job like we used to be going and they used to call like the the things batches and like you would just basically get a batch like whether it's twenty dollars sometimes it could be eighty dollars it could be a hundred it could be um ten dollars it's i'm the cheapest the lowest amount i've seen was probably like six dollars maybe five but like i would never take no five dollar batch like the fuck we used to be in different parts of georgia because like they used to take us everywhere this was also around the time that all that um uh, all the black lives matter stuff was going on and like everybody was rioting and then like everybody was trying to figure out who the president was gonna be and it was just a whole lot going on in this damn country bitch so we was in this predominantly white area <laughs> and like um in the aisles like one thing about i i i can't i'm not gonna speak for my boyfriend because i well i know he doesn't care but i'm not gonna speak on him just because like 
I don't really know, like, and, like, it doesn't even matter, but, um, one thing about me, like, it could be a bunch of white people everywhere, like, bitch, I don't care, like, I'm going mind my business, as long as they mind their business, they not, you know, bothering me in no type of way, like, I'm, you feel me, I'm gonna just go about my life. At this time, like I said, it was, like, COVID was in its prime, so, in the grocery store, it was having, like, they was trying to prevent, I don't know what the hell they were trying to prevent, but that shit didn't make no sense. So they had like, in Publix, it would be like certain aisles that you couldn't go down a certain way. So like, this aisle, say it's like 10, like, let's say three aisles. So then this aisle would be like, you got you can't go down the aisle this way. You would have to walk all the way around and like, go through the aisle that way. Like, I don't know, they was trying to make everybody go through an aisle one way and come out another way to like, prevent, I don't know. I really don't know because just because we go down this aisle this way like I'm still passing like bruh COVID is just so dumb to me but we're not even gonna speak on that but anyway me and my boyfriend wasn't following that rule in the store because one nobody wasn't gonna say nothing and then two I just felt like why do I have to go all the way around to get something at the end of the aisle that's right there because coat like no like so this one day um we're going through the aisles you know shopping doing what we do and it was this white man and this white lady in the aisle like they was dressed all bougie and fancy i was like okay period but like they wasn't feeling us so one thing about me i'm very like observant like i'm always going to be looking and like peeking like what's tea like what's going on boom 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 so i peeped that we walked in the aisle the guy the man the white man like tapped his wife like tapped his wife real quick because she was looking in the shelves so like my babe was looking for what he was looking for and i was just like in the aisle just like you know chilling so um yeah this i just took this putting this in the cap but um i went ahead and i um i seen i peeped that he tapped his wife and like pointed in our direction and we was the only person other people in that damn aisle so he pointed in our direction and his wife looked and started laughing so i'm like what's funny like what's really in my head i'm like what's tea sis because i know you're not even gonna say that out loud but it's whatever because like i'm not like one thing about me like bitch if you if i peep the petty and the petty isn't like being spoken out loud bitch you obviously scary and Oh dang, my timer just went off. But you obviously scary because like if you wasn't scared, then why? Like you just it's just giving me very much scary, basically. So um yeah, so she peeped, I mean she laughed or whatever, and I was just like, uh, they both was laughing. I'm like, oh y'all ugly anyway, the fuck old ass bitch. Cool. So I just didn't pay no mind. I feel like I told my bae or whatever, and we just paid it no mind. So after that every single aisle we went down they were down that damn aisle so i'm like oh my god like at this point and every time i see them they're laughing like i'm like okay what's funny yeah because you yet to say it like what's tea like what's funny but yeah like they still was being scary so i still was going about my business because i'm like feel me like they don't want no smoke obviously so my bae went um and at this point i'm laughing with them because like i'm like y'all laughing i'm laughing too bitch because y'all not gonna just be laughing at me and thinking shit funny like what's funny I, it's nothing funny in the grocery store it's literally nothing it was a point in time we're still in but i swear every aisle we went down they were down that aisle and i was just they just kept giving me like bad vibes like, i know they was racist bitch like i just know they was racist like you know you you ever seen somebody and you could just tell they racist like by the way they look at you like by the way they just look like ooh. i don't know if that's being stereo like a stereotype bitch but some people just be looking racist as hell and it and the actions like the way they move literally solidifies that but anyway me and my boyfriend split up because we were trying to hurry up and get the fuck out the store at this point we like we just trying to get the shit and dip so he's like okay you go down this aisle and get this and then i'm gonna go and get this from off the back wall so i'm like all right cool i go down the aisle by myself and i see them and they look at me all at the same time and they start smirking and stuff again so at this point i'm like it's pressure it's up like i know i'm by myself like they i really wish she was right next to me because these people really train me and um yeah like i'm not going but it's whatever like it's really up so i was just looking at them so i'm just looking let me put my wig on hold on we're gonna put the lashes on i should have put my lashes on before i put the wig on 
well, we're just going to put the wig on and then I'm going to put my lashes on and then put my clothes on. I'm not really going nowhere fancy, but I at least want to look decent. It's not even that nice outside today. But um, I don't even know if I'm going to glue this. Like, should I glue it? I don't know. We're going to see. This is cute, though. But anyway... Um, yeah, so I'm looking at them at this point because I'm like, y'all laughing, like, something's funny, like, ain't nothing funny, like, what's tea, like, yeah. So, um, as I'm looking at them, the lady didn't even look at me because they're walking past me while I'm looking at them because I'm like, they laughing like something funny, like, I want to know what's funny too, like, bitch, I want to laugh. They was walking past me and I'm looking at them because I'm like, I want y'all to know that I'm looking at y'all at this point because I already know. And I don't even care. But it's just the fact that y'all just, I don't know, like, what y'all, I really don't know what they was thinking, but I know it's not a coincidence that every, that, I okay, I know it's not a coincidence because first, I already peeped your man's tap you and y'all start key, key, key laughing. That was the first time, okay, I'll let that slide. But the third, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, bitch, no, it's not a coincidence, so y'all laughing at us. And I don't know what y'all laughing for because we was looking cute as fuck so whatever so the lady like when they was walking past the lady was look the lady didn't even look at me like she didn't even give me no eye contact and i in my head i'm like yeah bitch because you scary ho like that's what i'm thinking in my head and she did not look at me but her husband looked dead into my soul like when i tell you that man stared at me like he could have fucking took my soul the way he looked at me like that man looked so evil bro like I ain't never looked at somebody and just like felt evilness like that man definitely did some shit in his life and if he hasn't like yet like I don't know like he the way he get the, the look he gave me bitch like he looked so fucking scary white people <laughs> never mind I'm not even gonna say that <laughs> but he looked so scary, bro. Like, for real. Like, real life scary. And I was just looking at him. Like, I just kept looking at him because I'm like, you're not going to make me not look away, nigga. Like, I hope that's not what you're trying to do. Like, you're not going to make me look away. So, um, yeah. So, I just looked at him. I kept looking at him. He looked at me and he left. And when I tell you, like, he looked at my whole soul. Like, he really, like, I don't really know what the hell he did, bro. But... When I tell you that man looked at me so crazy, I had to tell my bae after that. I'm like, bae, that man was just looking at me so crazy. Like, I really felt like he was finna kill me with his eyes. Like, he really was giving me killer vibes. Like, serial killer vibes. Like, I'm glad he ain't take me, though. Like, feel me? But, yeah, that man definitely got some something. I don't know. He definitely did something um, bad to black people in the past. Like, I'm sorry if that offends anybody, but, like, y'all just had to be there to see how that man looked at me, boy. Like, I just felt the hate in his heart the way he looked at me. Like, he did not fuck with me. I don't even know that man. Like, who is that man? What did Kiki say? He, that man could be walking down the street. I wouldn't even know a damn thing about that man. Like, for real, she didn't say all that. But, yeah, y'all, I'm not really going to glue it. Meaning, like, I'm not going to use any ghost bomb. Like, it looks really good. But I'm not going to use any ghost bomb because, um, I have another way to install. But, I'm going to be using my new got to be spray. I love this spray a lot, y'all. Like, this spray is way better than the other one. Just because I feel like this one is not sticky like it's not as sticky as the other one like the other one is super sticky the other one i can still use for maybe like my wig caps but like as far as like putting it on the lace and you know stuff like that like trying to glue it down and shit like nah so if you guys um but when i first started doing installs and stuff i used to just use like got to be spray because i didn't like have like all that other lace glue so if you guys want to use got to be spray for your installs if you guys still use got to be spray for your installs you guys should definitely try this bottle now it looks like this they have different ones that like are different um strengths this one is the um the high insta hole high hole hairspray so i got the high hole they have one that's like mega hole medium hole like it's different types of holes so y'all just get which one y'all want we gonna call it a day um yesterday i had to cut down my nails because i couldn't even braid my damn hair back to do my damn hair so 
yeah i'm just gonna clip my hair back it shouldn't mess up the crimps too much but i definitely need my hair pulled back <clears throat> excuse me if you guys don't have elastic band please invest in one like that really helps install so much like even if you using got to be spray, whatever glue you may be using, even if your lace is lifting, you guys should keep one of these in your damn car. Like, all you got to do is put that elastic band on, tie it as tight as you can. Don't try to kill your damn self trying to tie it, like, tight on your head because it's going to be suffocating your damn brain. But, like, you know, tie it tight and then just let it do its thing. Like, it's really good. Like, an elastic band will have your hair laid all day yes very much babiana wet um, i'm gonna leave this on for like a minute um i'm gonna cut these baby hairs down though just because i want to do my lashes so i'm gonna cut this down like this cut this side like that maybe i'll cut this in the middle like that I could always cut it shorter, but I didn't want to cut too much off. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to get my lashes, and then I'll be back. I literally almost forgot about y'all. But anyway, I got my lashes. Dang, I really wish I had ex lash extensions, boy. Like, that'd be just the easiest shit. Like, I don't even have to put no damn lashes on. My lashes is already on. But anyway, I'm going to just put these lashes on real quick. And then uh, take this elastic band off. I'm going to put on my lashes, take this elastic band off, do my edges, and then I'm going to get back to y'all. I had to put my lashes on off camera because it was very hard to um, put on. They're on. This one just got glued on, so I didn't even get to squeeze this one together yet. So if it looks crazy, that's why. But, um, yeah. I had looked up like um get ready with me chit chats and shit like that to see like I I usually like to get like a little you know little taste of what people be kind of doing on theirs just to see what, like what can I do on mine or like what I kind of want to talk about maybe but um I've seen a lot of people doing their makeup and stuff like that like really transforming but bitch look this really <laughs> my everyday i don't know how to do makeup if i could do makeup maybe i would do makeup for y'all here and there but i do want to I, I do want to learn though for sure i do want to learn but i don't know how to do makeup y'all so that's just something y'all won't get from me until i find out how to like until i learn how to do it i want to learn though because i want to be able to at least do my makeup like feel me but anyway hey so this is how the lace looks up close as you guys can see looks very nice uh, very much yeah I did that shit it on them yeah and then I'm just gonna take my gorilla snot I be calling this shit gorilla glue so much so much times because I'll be forgetting so when I if I ever say in any of my videos gorilla glue y'all know just know I mean gorilla snot I use gorilla snot because I feel like this really like stay like i use it on my i used to use it on my like edges when i had like chair camp and stuff like that anytime where i was going into a situation where i wanted my edges to be laid but i know i was gonna be sweating fuck i literally didn't plug my shit into that nope i had like this little mini fly and i was gonna use to um you know swoop the edges before i actually did them but whatever but um any situation that i was about to be in but i wanted my edges to be laid but i knew i was gonna end up sweating and y'all know how sweat get on your natural edges like that shit going lift so i used to just um one of my teammates had put me on with the gorilla snot and i was like okay like i went my whole chair camp sweating like if you guys ever um had chair camp we used to go like to like uca it was like we used to go to like a college campus and then we used to be cheering like it used to be i feel like it was like uca or something i feel like that's what the organization was called but um yeah they would come like they would have their cheerleaders and then it would be cheerleaders from everywhere and then we'll just be at all this one big camp at a college campus and then we'll be doing stunts and stuff like that and then we'll perform the last day and then everybody parents come and then they give out 
um awards to the schools like who won i think i think it's like a winning thing like who got first place second place and then they have like you know the little spirit stuff like the spirit stick and then we had like a banana and then every day a new school would get the banana all types of little shit if i didn't move to georgia like i feel like a whole lot of shit that like school experiences would be so different hold on y'all not even seeing what i'm doing my camera is so zoomed i'm not even in the frame but um anyway um like in new york the school is just so different like as far as like experience from like the way it looks like all that stuff is so different so i feel like if i never moved to georgia like i would not experience like an actual school campus and then like like how everything was set up like it wasn't exactly like how the movies be set up but it was close enough like as far as like how the school looks and like the pep rallies and all that stuff like i really did have like a really cool school experience but anyway y'all my hair is done yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so my hair is done um i do want to put you guys gotta look at me from this angle real quick so i can stand up but i am gonna put my band on so it can um stay for before i get ready to leave yeah i don't know where my damn clip went <laughs> I'm gonna put this elastic band on and then I'm gonna be back. I gotta go um, downstairs and I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna wear. And yeah, so. All right, so now I'm in my room. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> All right, guys, so now I'm in my room. Dang, my ears feel like I can't hear shit. I had to tie it like this because, y'all, I was going through it with this damn elastic band, but anyway. So these are the two outfits that I have so far. Y'all, if my camera looks a little weird down here, I don't know why, but every time I'm in my room, my camera just looks very fucking weird. But anyway, um, these are the two outfits that I have. Um, I have this one. Y'all seen this one before, I'm pretty sure. It's a two-piece set. Um, it's not really that hot outside, and outside isn't really that great today um and it hasn't really been to be honest but um hopefully next week we have better days anyway um i have this and this or i have this and this and i'm kind of leaning towards this one because it's way more calmer and i really don't feel like being dressed up but yeah we're gonna try both of them on and we're gonna see which one looks better so let me set y'all up oh also i have a package maybe i'll un um unbox it with you guys maybe maybe not all right, so I'm going to put on the first outfit. This is what I have on now. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to show you guys. All right, guys, so this is the first outfit. Oh, bro, I really can't hear through my ear. Hold on. So this is the first outfit. I don't know if I'm going to wear this just because, like, I have somewhere else to go this week. And I feel like this will probably look way better. Then um, it will probably look better if I wear it then, then wear it now for what I'm about to do. Because what I'm really about to do is really nothing. Just really run errands. So, got this. Give it a little walk. Booty cam. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Or, let's put on the next one. Where I can go. What I need more. What the fuck? What the Let go. But stay on full thought. I think I'm going to go with this, y'all. Just because it's simple. And I just need something I can run errands in real quick. And you can't never go wrong with a cute little two-piece set. Um, this is how it looks. It looks straight, y'all. I think I'm going to just wear this. And I'm going to just wear my... Um, what is this shit called again? A deep, uh, Yeezy slides. I'm going to just wear my Yeezy slides. And then uh, where's my to-go purse? Purse, purse, purse. My purse, my to-go purse, y'all know my um Prada purse. Prada black purse is my to-go purse. I wear this everywhere for the most part. Okay. Then even though in Georgia we don't wear masks, I'm still going to keep my little black mask with me. And yeah, guys. That's really it. I'm going to take this elastic band off and make sure I don't got to fix my edges. And yeah. All right, guys. So that's the end of my video. As you guys can see, your girl is ready to go. 
okay so this is how the hair came out it came out really good right here um this line that you guys see right there is just the um mark from the elastic band because i didn't have that shit kind of tight on my head so yeah um i'm loving the little crimped little wavy bob let me show you guys let me set the camera up so i can show you guys how everything's looking so we have the bob the bob then we got the outfit with the bag cake on bake yeah okay but um all right guys so i'm actually about to go i already told my boyfriend i'll be on the way and um yeah if you guys want like a better get ready with me meaning like i'm actually gonna like maybe even get my makeup done or maybe i'll do like my eyebrows maybe some lip liner you know little something different you know um, maybe my hair will be longer and it'll have some color to it i don't know if you guys want me to do like a get ready with me extra version make sure you guys let me know okay i haven't did one of these in a minute so it kind of felt a little weird but i'm glad i did you know i gotta get back into my groove with creating content and stuff like that that's all i gotta say um you guys already know i have content coming um a story time will be coming um i plan on recording the story time tomorrow so you guys should be getting that sometime this week or the beginning of next week so yeah make sure you guys like comment, share subscribe follow me on my social media platforms make sure you guys go check out wavy my hair all their information will be in the description box down below this is exactly where i got this hair from this is a 10 inch bob um i did cut it a little shorter so it can be more leveled and i did crimp it so it did not come with this type of wave i did crimp it but yeah make sure you guys go check them out make sure you guys follow me on my social media platforms my instagram will be right here in in the description box down below i I do post really cute pictures so why won't you guys follow me and like um exactly and until next time desi out say i feel roll this dirty won't fall in no pill young nigga come from the hill won't show emotions but feelings be real i said but yo what's the deal phone in my pocket right next to the scale